from there. Now we're back to our discussion where we're talking to the Kenya national team of the Tong Il Mudo. If you like it, you call it martial arts. And today we've brought the team that is preparing for the World Championship to be held in Mombasa from the 23rd to the uh, 24th of this month. Make sure you make a date for, you know, to watch this team. And today we've brought the National Secretary General of Kenya, Tong Il Mudo Federation, that is uh, Hillary Master. Hilary Wahanda, I saw that yeah. uh, from the mail. Uh, what, what is master? Karibu sana. Uh, it just means that you've mastered the art. Good morning, viewers, and thank <laughs> you so much, Toskin <laughs> and KTN. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you, you, you saw, I tried to kick. I, I wish you were up there so that I kick you. <laughs> are you. Are you prepared for this? No worries. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Welcome uh, to our studio. We want to talk about this Tong Il Mudu. When you see mm -hmm. the name Tong Il Mudu, it mm -hmm. confuses guys. Yes. I don't know what it means. I'll just say it is... Uh, Mixed martial arts? Is Unified martial art. Unified, Unified martial, martial arts. Okay. That's basically what it means. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, what does it entail? Uh, basically, the person who started uh, Tongil Mudo yeah. was, a, was a champion in Taekwondo and Judo. So he uh, met with his colleague who was also a champion in Jiu Jitsu. And together they came up with this art. Jiu Jitsu. So it's a combination of karate, Taekwondo, Judo, and Jiu Jitsu. Wow. Yeah. And, and how, how can one do all that? Uh, because uh, I see there are separate events like karate, yeah. jiu-jitsu, and yeah. all that. How do you manage to master all that? Uh, now, you see, uh, the, the, the only technical difference is uh, in karate and taekwondo, they only fight standing. Mm -hmm. While in jiu-jitsu and judo, they fight on the ground. Uh -huh. So, as we fight standing and on the ground. Okay. Yes. So, uh, in, in this unified martial arts, if, uh, like now you are preparing for the... For the, for the World Championship in yeah. Mombasa? Uh, we are preparing yeah. for the fifth edition of the Mombasa Open yeah. Tongil Mudo International Martial Arts Competition, which will start on 23rd and 24th. That's the main tournament. But the main program has started today. Uh -huh. We have an international training program, which is uh, normally uh, led by our international vice president, Master Hoshiko, Takamitsu Hoshiko. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he came is, in the is country he, is on he Friday. around already? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, looking at all those events, are there rules that unify all those, uh, all th those disciplines? Or when you are fighting, mm -hmm. you use uh, you know, the, you know, the rules within that discipline, if it is karate? Uh, it's just like football. We have uh, soccer and we have beach soccer. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So the rules are more or less the same. And someone who plays beach soccer can adjust to soccer mm -hmm. in a stadium. So we have our rules of engagement. For example, uh, Edwin, just come. For example, uh, the, the unique thing is we kick low uh -huh. on the thigh. Uh -huh. We also kick in the, in the inner thigh. Yeah. That's our, for, a point. for a point. And then a punch to the body. You see, that's a touch to the body. Yeah. Now, a punch to the body, it's a punch oh, with no, a reaction. No, no, no. You are, you are hurting. So, <laughs> is it? Is it? so when he reacts, uh -huh. you're given a point uh -huh. again. Uh -huh. Now, a kick to the body is also one point. Uh -huh. A kick to the head is two points. If I kick him on the head and I'm not on the ground, oh. I get three points. Are you hurt from that <laughs> kick? You okay? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, th that is what? That's karate or that uh, is? That's Tongil Mudo now. That's Tongil Mudo yes. now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, you, 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 you want to showcase the judo in this Tongil Mudo. Yes. What happens? Uh, now, uh, maybe they can just uh, show you practically what yeah. happens. Uh, because, because we've been told it is mm -hmm. unified martial arts. You yes. have karate, you have judo, you have jiu-jitsu. Yeah. All, you know, packaged uh, together. Let's see. The, the so, bit. when you are fighting, Chirut, Kinge, fighting stance, Shijak. Is that Swahili or is that? Uh, it's Korean. It's, it's Korean. Korean. Just Korean commands. Okay. Uh -huh. So, when you are fighting, you are allowed to kick and you are allowed to hold the leg and you have uh, around five seconds to put your opponent down. Uh -huh. So, you see that? Now, that's the hassle. So, when you're on the ground, Again, you're, there's something called a lock. A lock? Yes. So you lock. Well, what do you lock? The hand? You okay. can lock the hand. Uh -huh. And you can put them in a position where they cannot move. Uh -huh. And then they'll tap out or give up uh -huh. in a layman's language. You give up, that means you, you lose You tap a out, point. yes. Uh -huh. So when you tap out, your opponent is given a th full three points. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's, that, that's nice. Yeah. And <laughs> can you tap out? <laughs> who, is, who is the suffering from? <laughs> Yeah, okay. so more or less is that. We, yeah. we kick, we punch, and then we go on the ground. That is, that is, that is the, the judo bit of this unified martial arts. Now, judo is the process of taking you down. Taking now, dealing yeah. with you on the ground is jujitsu. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. But uh, now, because we are doing all of them, that's why it's called Tong Il Mudo. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, that, that's great. And yeah. uh, <coughs> tell me, are there any protective gears? Uh, because I can see that's, that's a punch and it got into his uh, bars. Now, in our rules of competition, uh, we have uh, just the beginning level where we say amateur level. People who've not competed for a long time or under black belt. Now, those ones, we give them chest protection and head protection. But for seniors, you're only given a head protection. Uh -huh. Yeah, because uh, when you punch these people, they're conditioned to take punches. Uh -huh. So if someone is a puncher uh, compared to a grappler, they have a disadvantage when they have protection. Yeah, this is, you, you say there's a national team going for the... It's part of the national part team. Part of the national yes, team. How many players do you have? Uh, in the national team as constituted, we have 50 players. Uh -huh. Yeah, because so uh, people just know about football, volleyball, ah. athletics team, and then uh, surprise, we have a national team of uh, Tongil Mudo. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I, a Tongil Mudo sparring team consists of five people. Uh -huh. Yeah, but we normally uh, put it as large so that we can have substitutes, and also we can participate. Uh, we can have many openings. Mm. For example, we can present three teams in a competition. Mm. Yeah. How do you fund your your activities? Because uh, the profile of uh -huh. Tongil Mudo. Uh, really, we cannot put it at the level of the national football team or the rugby team and all that. How do you manage to fund your activities? Uh, well, uh, the same way uh, federations make their income is number one, by membership and club affiliation, mm -hmm. and then number two, by sponsorship. Mm -hmm. So if we get sponsorship, we are normally grateful because uh, without sponsorship, we cannot do this. And currently, our main sponsor for the Mombasa Open uh, Tongil Mudo International Martial Arts Competition has always been the government of Kenya through the Ministry of Sports and Culture. Mm. Yes. Oh, great. And uh, in terms of equipment, mm -hmm. uh, how, how equipped are you for all this? Uh, we can say currently we are well equipped. Uh, we have the tatami mats standard. Tatami we, mats. Yes, oh. we have the tatami mats. We have the headgears. We have the hogos. But uh, again, the problem with these things is if you lose them for a long time, they wear and tear. Mm. So you find that every year we need to get new. We have mm. to purchase again. What about the medical aspect of it? Because it's a dangerous spot, I can see, if you are uh, hitting the guy on the head. Uh, it's yeah. not a dangerous spot per se, but accidents do happen everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, accidents do happen everywhere. But uh, we also teach first aid. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the first aid that is required for this spot is for contact. Mm. Only for contact. Let's go, let's go. Yes. What, what do you have in store <laughs> for the Kenyans? Yeah. So what, what would you call this? Uh, these are major basics. They started with the uh, punches and strikes. Now they are kicking. So uh, in basics, we have stances. That's how they are standing. Sometimes you see them standing like this, sometimes like this, or sometimes like this. Those are stances. So these are the major basics. Now, uh, these basics can be mixed up into something called forms. Forms? Yes. Uh, what are forms? Uh, in karate, they're called katas. Uh -huh. In taekwondo, they're called pumses. But uh -huh. we call them forms. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. I, I can see you have only one oh. lady in this team. You said it's a part of the national team. Yes. How many lady participants do you have? We have two ladies team. That is ah. ten ladies in the national team. Okay. Yes. Is, it, is it the team? Is it drawn from around the country or is it only Nairobi and Mombasa? Uh, no, it's uh, all over the country. We have uh, Nairobi, Mombasa, we have Western, we have Eastern, we have Central. Yeah. Yes. Okay, guys, from what I can see, there's a gadget here. What, what is this gadget? This is called an nunchuck. Let me uh, have a look at this. <laughs> this is a dangerous weapon. What is it all about? Uh, it's me. all about Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee? <laughs> we have a Bruce Lee this Yeah, we team. have a local Bruce Lee. What's his name? So this is a weapon, Alex uh -huh. Gitonga. Alex Gitonga. Yes. Karibu, show us what you have and what you are made of. We should take cover, man. <laughs> this, this guy looks uh, dangerous. Huh? Wow. And it's a sport? Uh, this is a weapon. Uh -huh. It's a weapon. So you can, taught, you can be taught how to use it. Uh -huh. Yes. 
because every time he's eating, that's a strike. Uh -huh. Again, that's a strike. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> you, you remember during the Supreme Court uh, proceedings, uh -huh. uh, one of the um, uh, law enforcement officers yeah. uh, was barred from entering the Supreme Court with a yeah, uh, gun. Yeah, I remember. Wetangula's bodyguard. Yes. Yeah, so uh, uh, did he have to go with a gun only or he should have also used this? You see, uh, I think <laughs> Kenyans don't take security serious uh -huh. because uh, martial arts hmm. basically means uh, uh -huh. being armed without a weapon. Uh -huh. So you basically you're using your four limbs to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't need a gun to protect uh, someone uh -huh. all the time. Uh -huh. Yes. And, and, and with all this uh, as a club, um, I understand you have several clubs uh, around the country. Yeah. Uh, do you also offer you know s such services as security or training? Yeah, we offer uh, close body security protection courses. Mm -hmm. uh, we offer self-defense classes. Mm -hmm. We also offer fitness and martial arts classes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, in, in terms of maybe uh, defense uh, mm -hmm. uh, classes, who, who would benefit most? Uh, I this? think it's the general public. Uh -huh. They should take up the defense classes because uh, you never know when attack comes to you. Mm. You never know when you can be attacked. Okay. Yeah. Le let's, let's talk about uh, the tournament itself on... Uh, uh, 23rd, 23rd and, and 24th. 24th. Yes. Yes. What do you aim to achieve with this tournament? Uh, this, the, the main purpose of this tournament is to bring international participants into this country. Uh -huh. When we started with the first edition in 2013, uh, we had uh, only two countries coming in, two international participants, uh -huh. participating countries. Yes. So last year, we had 12 international participating countries. Uh -huh. uh, this time, we have 24 confirmed. Uh -huh international participating countries. Mm -hmm. So the aim of this tournament is to help uh, Kenyans generally yeah. uh, who are practicing Tongil Mudo yeah. participate on an international level uh -huh. in their country. Uh -huh. Number two, we're also trying to achieve uh, sports tourism mm. with this tournament. Wow. Because our guests come, uh, we train with them, we compete against them, mm. and then we take them around Kenya. We, we don't have much time, uh, but I hope that uh, with this tournament, maybe Kenyans will come to understand and appreciate what Tongil Muru uh, is. As we wind up, because we are expecting Michelle here uh -huh. uh, to come and do a demo for us and maybe take her on if uh, she can do that. Or even Michael Gitonga, <laughs> it depends. But I would love to have the two of them uh, so that we see what they are made of. Okay. Yeah, guys, uh, welcome to this uh, session. Yeah, Thank I'm you. not sure if Thank I'm going to do the kicks you're promising. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's the only thing I've learned uh, so see, far. Michelle is armed, but it's she's it's not aware. She's what, with, with she's with my armed. shoes? Armed. I know my shoes are weapons. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah that, that's and, our and she's so how weapon. What, what I want to know, however, is why there's only one lady and she doesn't have a belt. Uh -huh. uh, she's a beginner. Uh -huh. Any beginner is a white belt. Ah, right. So uh -huh. when you start, you're a white belt. Okay. And then you move to the next belt, which is a yellow. And then a green, and then blue, and brown, then suddenly black. Right, so so every, every belt has uh, two stages. Uh -huh. Now yes. I know that part of the discipline is that one has to contain their ability to use you know, what the, the martial art they've learned. Yes. Uh, but in a combat situation where maybe you've been attacked, mm -hmm. what are, are there restrictions to how you can use it? Because I, I know like this is a weapon <laughs> which can be very dangerous. Now the main purpose of martial arts is for you to be in control. Mm -hmm. So whatever you do, you should be in, co in control and accountable. Okay. Wow. Yes. That's so whatever, whatever yeah. force you want to use, remember you have to be Then I would recommend that we actually put our members of parliament under this discipline. <laughs> <laughs> so that they are control and they are accountable. Even our members of the media, because you can be out there, you can lose your materials mm -hmm. by just a threat. Okay. Like, give me your camera. Uh, you Absolutely. Have to protect yourself. Right. Guys, Good lesson, it's a big yeah. challenge. You guys, you need to take uh, up this uh, because I've been told. Uh, Can you yeah. please yeah. Yeah. Women, women trust me? <laughs> <this thing. laughs> I just don't trust this is the holding some of these things. Yeah. But <laughs> guys, I did not Tongil Modo and yes. Karate and Taekwondo and yeah. kickboxing are all different, mm. but uh, some great perspective there. Yeah. Thank you for coming through. Uh, thank you yeah. so much for having Well, us. thank you very much. And uh, well, this is where we wind up the show. Thank you, Robin Toskin and the team for coming in and well, giving us a very good notion of martial arts when it comes to sports for us would like to say and wish you all a fantastic and a good day all right my name is michelle ngele see you again tomorrow 5 a.m same place same time good morning thank you